and welcome to the challenge. Today is module six, day three. My name is Emily Becker. I'm from WordPress Direct, and we are going to be learning how to monitor your AdSense statistics. This is a test. As you recall, the purpose of the AdSense was to help determine whether or not your market has a commercial vi commercially viable set of customers. They need to be able and willing to buy something. That may not be the case in your niche. Even if you're getting great traffic, they might all be looking for free information. AdSense is an excellent way of determining whether or not this is the case. And if it is not, the best choice is to get out of the market. Now's the time to do it, not once you've spent millions of hours trying to perfect the site, perfect the product, perfect various other things. I'm telling you this on day three of module six, but you did just recently uh, put in your AdSense code onto your site, so you might not have enough data points yet to determine a yes or no go. I want to show you the statistics that are pertinent so that you can start to evaluate as the data comes in, but I don't want you to make a decision quite yet until you have enough data points. There are two important data points that we need to consider. Impressions, which is the number of times somebody is exposed to their ad your advertisements, and clicks, how many times they click on the advertisement. For obvious reasons, both are important. If you have only two clicks, but it turns out you only have two impressions, well, you don't have enough data yet, but early indications might be very good, although I would never make a decision based on that few data points. On the other hand, if you have a thousand clicks, but it turns out you have a hundred million impressions, <laughs> Well, you've got some great traffic, but you don't have a market that is likely to buy. Both are important, and when you combine the ratio between the two of them, the percentage of clicks for impressions, that's what we call the click-through rate. The click-through rate is the most important point. So I'm going to start by going straight to our AdSense account. And as you can see, I can search for various periods of time today, yesterday, all time, and see the two most important pieces of data. How many impressions I've gotten and how many clicks. I've had 4,363 impressions, nine clicks. That means I have a click-through rate of 0.9%, of, sorry, of 0.2%. That's the page click-through rate. That's what CTR means. Actually, 0.2% is not very good. And I actually have a decent amount of data points because this site has been going on for a little while. Um, so I really need to see if I can improve this. Now, if your click-through rate is very good, don't touch anything. For heaven's sakes, it's working. So you're good to go. If it's not seeming to be working out, and I wouldn't do this before you at least got 200 impressions, at least get 200 impressions before you try to make any decisions whatsoever about tweaking your AdSense account, but once you have 200 impressions and it doesn't seem to be right, maybe you can do a few things in order to narrow AdSense into doing what you want it to do in order to give you better data. One of those choices is to go to AdSense Setup and then Competitive Ad Filter. If you see an ad on your site that Google put there that you don't think is very highly targeted, to your site, you can remove it from ever being shown again by adding the URL it goes to right here. For instance, I have skateboardingrocks.com. I don't want to ever see an advertisement that comes from skateboardingrocks.com. I saw it at one point in time. I didn't like it. I thought that it didn't relate very well to baking or whatever the niche that I had was, um, but it wasn't very closely related, so I removed it. It's a good way of kind of narrowing things down from the pool that they originally had put in. Especially if you're seeing actual competitors compete for your site. If you're actually seeing a competitor, you should take those off. Because if they're competing for the exact same thing you are, you have another link to that on your site that gives you the money for that site, you don't want to give the money to the competitor. The other useful thing is this thing called Ad Review Center. It's under AdSense Setup, Ad Review Center. This allows you to filter out categories overall that might be a little bit um, iffy or not related to your site. 
And so you can just check them. Like for instance here, I'm going to take off references to sex and sexuality, click submit, and no more advertisements relating to sex and sexuality, as well as any of the other ones that I might have clicked, will show up on your site anymore. Useful in a way of making sure, first of all, that you don't have advertisements that you don't want on your site, uh, as well as maybe even uh, narrowing down more specifically the kind of category that you are looking for. So both of these are useful. They're small changes. They might not make enough of a difference. They might make a little bit of a difference. Uh, see if it works for you. But like I said, don't touch anything for at least 200 and give it a few days before you make an overall decision. The last thing I want to say is the site that I looked at to begin with, my overview where I was seeing these kinds of clicks, because of the way we set up the account, this works as long as you only have one URL on this account. If you want to put more than one URL on your AdSense account, you can, but you have to use a channel management to break down the impressions. I'm not going to show you how to do that today. It's a more advanced topic, but you can Google it. You can find a lot of topics on how to do it. It's not a huge deal, um, but since for right now we've only got one account on one AdSense, one site on one AdSense account, your overall should work just fine. Tomorrow, you'll also be shown how to put an affiliate product on your site directly through the sales offer system that links between Market Samurai and WordPress Direct. You'll be shown by the Market Samurai guys, so I look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. Uh, if you want even more information or you've gone to this page directly, we have more bonus materials located at www.challenge.co.